Hey, hello, hello. All right, I'm going to attempt this. All right, we'll see. We'll see how this all goes. <laughs> All right, let me log in real quick so I can talk to you guys. Happy Easter. Okay, so I'm sitting today working like crazy, of course. And I wanna use this thing I got, somebody made in group. And, of course, there's no names. I don't remember. Because it was quite some time ago. But when I find something that I like, I save it around for a long time till I want to use it, you know. And then I want to make a couple. Uh, so. So, I want to make a couple before I use this. Because I want to learn how to do it. And, you know. All that. So, I'll show you what it is first. It's kind of cool. It's two envelopes. I can't remember who made this either. I want to say Karen Hartgate, but I can't remember. So, envelope right here. Right? And then there's a tuck spot here, tuck spot here, tuck spot here. See? One. Did I already pull this out? Yeah, that's the thing. And then these all flip up. Flip up, flip up, flip up. See? Like this. Look. So, let's just do a few of these for kicks, eh? Hey, thanks for the thumbs up. Helps my videos get watched and all that. Okay, so. I attempted it. I can't find any with no windows, but whatever. I guess this is how it goes. So, it's just an envelope. I tuck that in the inside so it'll still open and I fold it over on the top. So, I can still get in here. And I guess we slit the side if we want to put a tag in like she's got here. And then the next one, you just fold it and then put your slit on this side. So that when you put it in... You get another, like this, see? Another spot here. And then you can put your tag in on this side and slit this for this one. Right? And then she covers up all this. And then she puts writing spots on the underneath. Right? And then a big thing here. And then she sewed across. Then you got this cool thing. But I can't remember who did it now. Anyway, the lady who made it had it double-sided. So I can't glue it down. What the heck? So I ripped it off the back. But then I ripped the back of the envelope. So then I had to glue this brown paper on. So now I can glue it down. That's what I want to do. So pretty cool, right? You get cool mail sometimes from people, don't you? So let's do it. Let's do it. So I got one folded here. Let's fold another one though. And then if you can even believe you already seen the one mess I got. Well, then I had to dig out my travel stuff because I'm trying to put travel in with my scraps now because I'm finishing up this next book I got. And it was a hint of travel and I had already made it all cutie and all this. So I had to get some travel in it anyways. These all have windows. And these aren't actually junk mail. Somebody sent them to me all nice like this. But you get what I mean. I have a whole thing of junk mail up here. But I didn't find any with no... With no non-windows. And then you want them the same exact size. So I just grabbed these because it was the easiest for right now, you know. And then I have been saving this. All mappy kind of stuff. Receipties. Charties. Stuffies. What is this? This is something. I think it's origami. 
actually, so it's a really weird texture. I was originally gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a travel one, but then I got all the scrap piles, so I'm gonna just do more scraps on here, you know what I mean? So, open the envelopes up. Tuck in the dealios, so one's going to be this way and one's going to be the other way, so they're opposite. And then this one's going to fold down just a little bit. However much, I guess. Just whatever you want. And then this one... <clears throat> Okay, and then this one, I'm on Sean's iPad today because mine's almost dead. Then this one, we make sure the opening is the other way, and we just get it longer than this one, so when it sticks out. We got something, you know. Like that, I guess. Okay, and then I'm trying to think of something. Hi, Carla. I like to glue mine on, and I don't necessarily know if I like the tags coming on this side because if I glue it on this side of a page, and you sometimes the it gets I don't know. So, I think I'll leave my envelope open on that side. But I don't think I'm going to slit it, too, because I don't want a bunch of fuzz hanging out. Because when you shut your book in that, we that's a weird spot. I think I'm going to put them both on this side. That way I can make tabs on here, whatever, you know, if it sticks out. So, I think that's what I'm going to do with mine. Alright, so I got two sitting here. <clears throat> So, I'm just going to use this origami, I guess, for right now. I guess. how it goes. I only have to ink the edge because I'm going to put paper over all this. I just don't want any white edges, you know. So, we'll just ink this and then let's just see how it's going to look now for a second. Oh my God, I get so tired of inking, don't you guys? Ugh. <laughs> I get so tired of it. You know. Okay. Well, I really didn't wanna have to cut this. You know how I like to rip. But, these are such small pieces, and they're so, I don't know, perfect. I don't want to rip it, so I'm just going to cut it, I guess. I cut it a little bit too long, dang it. Not measuring very good, but that's okay, I guess. I'll get it. This is going to be cool, though. I'm excited. Sean's been out trying to get... There's moss in Washington, you know. So we're trying to get... Or he's trying to get the moss off the roof. You know. To quit from growing. More scraps, I know, Linda. I'm trying, man. 
I'm trying, man. Okay, so let's put that on there. I stopped with, well, I'm trying to get this book done at the same time I'm doing scraps, but. It's kind of hard because my book is kind of travel and I wasn't doing travel. So now I have this huge pile of scraps and now I dug out my dang travel stuff. So it's like, oh my God, you should see the pile on me. Right here, it's just practically ridiculous. All right, and then we're going to be lifting them up and making tuck spots under here. So, <clears throat> let's see if this is thick enough. Oh, it is, almost, I'd say. That's pretty good size, I would say. Nice. And I'm so distracted right now. I I did something weird today to my stomach or something. I don't know. I feel like I laughed too hard or I pulled something. You know what I mean? So it's acting really weird. I don't know if I was squeezing too hard. Like I do these meditations, you know, where and those breathing techniques, you know, where at the end you got to squeeze and all this. <laughs> Not like I was doing anything hard, but now every time I laugh, I get this weird pain in my stomach. So now it's like I'm trying not to laugh, which is unlike me. Because I got this weird thing going on. So it's distracting me, and I can't. <laughs> and then I cut in the wrong spot. I'm so mad. I can't concentrate on what I'm doing here. And I cut in the wrong spot. So... Oh, well, we'll just see if I can even concentrate long enough to do this. I mean, that's okay. I got a little more white over here than I'd like, but oh well. I'm not using a dang cutter or whatever. Look it. Look what I did. Eh. Oy. Oh well. So I was watching, yesterday they played two excellent movies right in a row. It was really hard. I did get some work done, but it was really hard because I wanted to watch. So if you haven't ever seen August Rush, they played that yesterday. Oh my gosh, it is so good. And they played, well, you've got me all right after that. You know, we've seen that a million times, but I tell you what. I haven't seen it, you know, because I've seen it so many times. But I watched it again. It's really long. But on and off, you know, I can sit here and listen to the TV. At the same time, I can't watch it. But it was on. And then I started watching it at the end, you know, when you can stand. Watching it because it's so long and I've seen it so many times. <laughs> but, oh, it was so good. I love Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. Before she got all her weird surgery and now it doesn't even look like her. Do you know why these beautiful women get surgery on their face and then they end up looking like something? I don't understand it. Can't they just be happy with how beautiful they already are and just forget all the freaking Botox and stuff? I mean, seriously. That was dumb, Linda. Why didn't you tell me? Look what I just did. I did the same pattern. Oh, yeah. oh well, I'll switch envelopes and put this on this one. Linda, it's her fault, see, she distracted me, <laughs> I gotta blame it on somebody, she's gotta be my scapegoat, you knew, you watched me do it, sit right here and watch me, you knew, she's trying to get out of being my scapegoat, not gonna let you, <laughs> I gotta have somebody to yell at, remember? <laughs> Remember, that was the deal. <laughs> I get to yell now. Darn it. Oh, well, that's okay. Thankfully, I'm doing two, so it worked out. 
Remember, we get to yell at each other and not care. That's the deal of the day. <laughs> well, sometimes, you know, you gotta just be like, oh, she's having a moment and just not care, you know, like, no big deal. You know what I mean? Sometimes you lose your mind for just a second. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, my stomach hurts when I laugh now. What the heck? I don't want to laugh anymore. I can't do videos now. I can't do videos and not laugh. It's just impossible almost. I'm trying, but I'm feeling real weird. Because I ain't acting right. <laughs> it means I have to laugh a little bit, but it still hurts. I think I got, I laughed myself into a hernia. I bet you I did, because it hurts when I move. Or, I mean, I just pulled a muscle. I didn't get a hernia, probably, but you never know. With all this hard work I'm doing. Look at this. Whew, I'm sweating. <laughs> sweating at it. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. This is trying to be vintage, but this says December 2000 on it. That's just not funny. I'll put it sideways. Maybe it won't be so easy to read. Shoot, I cut it to fit. How about upside down? That one says 2005. For stupid. Oh, well. I'm trying to do vintage and it says 2005 on the dang thing. I didn't realize. Can you glue on these windows? Does it stick? Or I could cut the dang thing out since I don't like it. Oy vey. I'm telling you. The problems. Oh, well, I'll try to hide the 2005. That's stupid. December 25th, 2000. Who made this? I feel like writing a complaint. <laughs> Don't they know not to use a two on anything? I need a nap. <laughs> I probably do need a nap. Am I throwing a fit today? <laughs> oh... Well, this is okay so far. Okay, now Linda says I, I need to go to bed. <laughs> well, you know the morning. So that was dumb. Maybe I had a, um, oh boy, this is going to be a big one. This is like a cool map, mappy page. That's neat. Did you ever see these before, Linda? <clears throat> Did you even see what we're making yet? Because you came in late. Well, not late, but you know what I mean. Do you even know what I'm doing? Do you even know what I'm doing, Linda? I'll show you the example if you don't. It's pretty cool. Somebody sent it to me, but I can't. Remember who it was. I always say it's Karen R. Grave every time I can't remember. She always used to send me so much stuff. <laughs> but I can't remember if it was her or not. So now at least I'll have map scraps. Not that I need more scraps. This is ridiculous. But I was getting down there until I... Until I brought my maps out and stuff. My travel stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, so then I need one more. Let's try... What this one? Oh, this one's not big enough. Look at this. What the hell am I going to do with that now? Well, I can't end it like that. <sighs> Nothing's working out for this girl today. So. What do I do? Ooh. 
Well, I gotta use something on my own. Quite obviously then. But you know, this was all matchy matchy. Now the last piece is gonna be something weird. Oi. <laughs> I think I do need a nap, Linda. Because that didn't work. That didn't work out. What the heck happened? Yep. Yeah. I'll just use some dictionary, I guess. What the heck? What the heck, man? Thankfully, I am like a Marine. I can adapt and overcome. <laughs> right? I'm going to put that word right up there. Hack. Good hack job on this. <laughs> Good hack job on this. Been hacking somebody's idea. And I don't remember who it is now. It's been so many years. Now, is that even going to look good? Psh. I know what I'll do, though. Watch. Chicken myself. Let me get this cut off first. Then I can just put a fake piece on the bottom. Right? And make it look like it's... And then they'll open it up and it's dictionary on the top. Hee, hee, hee. Trick them. Right? I'll just fake it. See? And then we'll just put, squeeze this in here like this. Just on the bottom. <laughs> we'll just fake it. How's that? I'm happy with it. Linda, you know what I'm making yet? Did you see? Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. All right. Look at this, see? Now it's shaping up to something. Right? Now the inside flaps, we gotta put journaling spots, so paper of some kind, whatever you got. I like this brown paper. It's in my shop. I like it. I think I want my glue stick for this. You don't know what I'm making yet? Hi, Naomi. You don't know what I'm making yet? Okay, I'll show you one sec. You know, they're envelopes. Tuck spot and journaling spot in one. You're going to see some magic. <laughs> Tuck spot and journaling spot all in one. The things I get excited about at this age. Hi, Carrie. What you doing today? Well, I'm trying to rip it, but it ain't working. Okay, let me cut this off. Not too much today. 
It's Easter after all, right? It's not Easter here. Well, I... I just... I just don't do anything for us for Easter. I don't know. I'm always cooking big meals and so <laughs> I don't know. And I FaceTime the kids, you know, and all that stuff, but Okay. And I'm sure I'll call mom. Oh, it's already Monday, huh, Naomi? Well. Well, shoot. You know, we're still on Sunday. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Okay, so there. Now, flip up and you got a journaling spot. Now, flip up and this one has to be a journaling spot, see? So now... Shoot, she's a day ahead of us. I'll have to call her next time I want to know what the future is. Huh, Naomi? You should, um, fortune tell. <laughs> that would be funny. You wouldn't be lying. You could say your fortune teller for us. <laughs> I love to do tarot and all that. Anyways, myself. I do readings all the time. It's fun. Well, not all the time. But when I'm in the mood, I'll put a post up and... Oh, <laughs> you thought I meant eco paper. No, it's Easter, silly. I figured you'd be making dinner and stuff. Most people are, you know, I'm just not because it's just me and Sean. You know, I don't. And he don't celebrate nothing. Shoot. First year I met him, I got him an Easter basket and did all this cute stuff and made dinner and da-da-da. I don't do none of that anymore. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we had, spaghetti. I made spaghetti and meatballs, homemade and everything, you know, with the lamb and everything. Shoot, I cook big every day. He's spoiled when it comes to that. Because, you know, I like to eat. <laughs> I'm always cooking big meals. Yeah. And I made, um, have you ever, because I ain't doing uh, white flour. Well, psh, I am. I'll go eat a cookie, but I ain't doing the other, you know. Anyways. I'm trying not to do as much white flour. <laughs> so instead of pizza crust, I did the, um, I think this one has to be coffee too. Or I did the um, cauliflower and Parmesan crust. Have you ever done that? <gasps> it's so good. I'll never go back to white flour crust. It's better than regular crust. I'm telling you, and I love bread. It is so good. I was amazed. Even Sean said, oh my god, this is so good. It's like, what the heck? Where have you been all my life? It's just cauliflower and parmesan and an egg, you know. Two eggs and a big, almost a whole head of cauliflower. I mean, if you're doing a big pizza fan, I would. But it's just me and Sean, I didn't do a whole one. And then parmesan cheese and, you know, pepper and salt and whatever. I was thinking I want to put onion in it, but you know how wet onion is? I'm a scared it won't crisp up enough if I put onion in, so I didn't, but I'd like to try it. Oh, it's so good, Linda. You got to do it. Especially if you want to not have white flour, you know? Oh, it's so good. So you put it in the oven all by itself for like 10 minutes and let it start getting brown. And then once it starts getting a little brown, then you pull it back in. I mean, pull it back out, you know, and put your sauce and all your regular stuff on it. I just did sauce and, um, you know, pepperoni and onion, cheese. And then you put it back in 10 more minutes and it's done, you know. Ooh, ooh, it was so good. And I get organic cauliflower because it's just so good. It tastes so good. Because, you know, some stuff like you buy, like I get strawberries, they don't even have a flavor anymore these days. At least, I don't think so. Unless something's wrong with my taste buds, but I'm a super taster, according to I got tested, you know. When you was in college, you only do those weird things to you. <laughs> tested my taste buds. I went into one of my classes, and they passed around this 
substance, whatever it was. And anybody who could taste it was a super taster. He walked around asking everybody, can you taste it? Can you taste it? Everybody's no, no. I got mine. I could taste it. He told me I got super taste buds. I'm like, no wonder I'm fat. Psh. <laughs> I learned all kinds of stuff about myself in college. You know what the other thing was? Oh my God. It was so stupid. It was so funny. Oh my God. It was so funny. Okay. You know how when you... Actually, it was my GED. I started college and I didn't even have my GED. So I was doing GED and college at the same time. Because you can go to college, you just have to have your GED before you graduate, right? So I was doing both classes, and I think this was for my GED class, actually. You know, you got to do those aptitude tests, but I don't know. It could have been a college class. I can't remember. Anyways, you know how you do those aptitude tests and stuff, you know, when you're that age? And here I was, like, 35, and I went back to school or something like that. So I'm doing an aptitude test, and I'm, like, already over it and grown, you know? So anyways, I did this aptitude test, and you got to answer all these questions, you know, and it wants to print out all the jobs that would be best suited for you according to the answers given that you gave, you know. So everybody's getting their printouts and, you know, getting these lists, long lists of stuff, you know, that they're, you know, inclined to enjoy, you know, or whatever. See, now we got, see... Okay, so guess what my aptitude said, Linda? My aptitude test. Everybody's went print it out. Had all this stuff to say. Guess what? Comes to me. My printout, Kelly Snow. That was it. I said, what? <laughs> what? I got so many interests, like, you know, whatever. I'm like, what the hell is this? Give me that. I look at my sheet of paper. Guess what it said? I had one, one thing. <laughs> you ain't gonna believe it. <laughs> one. I got one. It was hysterical. Everybody in class, we roared laughing. It was so funny. Well, the people who knew me roared laughing anyways. Guess what it said? You got to guess at least one. Because i got to sew this now. Got to sew this at the crust stop. Somebody take a guess. What the one recommendation for a job for me was. Well, I would most likely succeed at this job, right? Oh, my God. I got to sew this, so you got to make one guess. Just for fun. After all those questions I answered, can you imagine? Oh, God. How horrible. Actually, it wasn't horrible. I actually considered it. But I'm too fat and lazy. <laughs> well, I wasn't too fat then, but... Nope. It wasn't a social worker. It was... It told me to join the military. <laughs> and to be like, you know... Join the military! <laughs> so <laughs> I about died I'm like it said something about something to do with the military like a I don't know what I don't I can't remember now but it was something to do with the shut up plumber <laughs> what's that supposed to mean Linda that I got a big crack up my ass Psh. <laughs> Listen to her. Listen to her. Okay, look at this. Did you see what I just did here? Yeah. Oh, was it? Okay, yeah. See, it was some kind of crazy military thing. Join the military and it was like platoon sergeant or something like this. I'm like, what the hell is this? What, are you supposed to bark out orders every day? See? See, I picked the right job. <laughs> I got the right job. All right, so if I slit this end now, I can slide a tag in there, see? Can you imagine, Linda, in yours with combat helicopter mechanic? See, we are some tough you-know-whats. I want to say the B word, but then I won't get monetized. <laughs> okay, can I, did I screw this up? Nope, I didn't. Look at here. 
Now we got a little pocket on this side. Now see, we can put something, something. And then, I don't want the pocket on this side because if I put tags and stuff in here, this is fat and it sits in my book and then you got fuzz right here and I don't know. I want my tabs on the outside. Well, you apparently had the temperament for it. <laughs> I think that's so funny. We were before our time. Or you were. I can't remember what... what I think women were in the military when I was doing it, so... Okay, now this one has the pocket here. So in a pocket here, see, I like this. And I left mine on this side here, opened up. This one's bigger, see? And then we get the final, the biggest one in the back. Look at that, ain't that cute? I could sew, sew right here to the ends. I kind of like the sewing, you know, or decorate it up or whatever, you know. The example is here somewhere. Here's the example. And see, see with the fuzz and stuff right here? I don't know. I just don't want to have that while I'm trying to shut my book on, on this stuff. You know what I mean? And this is what hers look like. I think this was Karen Hargrave, but I can't remember. She's got stuff in here. See? See, this is cool, ain't it? I love it. I thought it was cool. So now I'm going to put it in my book. And then look at this. we got to make these big matchbooks. Remember these? Full page matchbooks. I love them. Here's my book. You want to see it really quick? Maybe I shouldn't show you, but I don't know. It's kind of fun. I just threw it in this box because I got so much crap. Linda. Oh, shit. This is falling. Guess what I did? Hope you're not going to hate me. <clears throat> I hope you're not going to hate me. Because I started chunking off this bracelet you sent me. I can't stand it. It's so dang pretty. And I stink at jewelry. Look what I did. I took the end off it and put it on this. <laughs> Don't hate me, please. Because I love it so much. It's so pretty. I could never make anything this pretty. So I took the end off it and put it on a piece of pink velvet look <laughs> to make a bookmark for my journal <laughs> and look how pretty it is now it goes right in there see linda makes all these charmies and all this stuff and i told her i wanna she should make a bracelet not bracelet but a what did i call it a charm rope or something like that for people like me so that you can just make this whole thing i have her cluster sitting here if you need one order one she's right here uh, and that you can just take the stuff off. Like, I want some with just clips or whatever real easy way. I can just pull off all the charms and use it on my thing. Because I can't do this. I just don't. I just can't. So, anyway, it's gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> so, I don't know if I want to put it on the top or the bottom. Or if I do both sides. Should I do both sides? I don't know. But, anyway, right now it's here. So, <laughs> So it's really pretty. This is a huge flip out thing. So look how fat it is already. And I haven't even hardly started. So I don't know how this is going to work out. But I'm trying. This is that travel one. Now this one is like as one of my stash books. I started making it a stash book. But I kind of am bouncing now back and forth. In between a stash book and a regular like journal. And so the stash books you know have the three envelopes in the front so you know so that's fun and so it's kind of travel-esque I got the maps and the birds and you know flowers and the birds and all that stuff I know this is so fat and then these are pockets so it's got stuff in it and then somebody made this cool envelope anyways I'll show you where I'm gonna put this and this is really pretty I did the oh I like this one oh the scraps that's a Tim Holtz thing, Wildflowers of America, and I got a map background and like flowers. Wildflowers of America. I like that one. I don't know, I'm all about it. <clears throat> and then here's another one of my bird map 
things. Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, boy. Look at this part. It's huge because look what I did. So here's one of my scrappy, strippy things I was making. So it's got luggage tags and theater tickets and a picture and stuff. And then it's actually a, a whole map fold out and it comes out like this, see? So I put my scrappy tablet on the inside. Uh, glassine bag with like mappy tickets, maps, tags, I mean, map tags. My mom made these. A journaling spot, a journaling spot, and then another. I wanted to keep this as light as I could because it's a fold out, so I didn't want to like put too many decorations on here. And this is a postcard from Australia from 1987. So anyways, it pulls out and then the back is all just coffee stained clear. So for journaling, right? Like I said, I don't want it to be too heavy. Otherwise it's gonna, and I like my little scrappy tablet. That's cute. And then this is a customs envelope from Bangkok, Thailand. I put a little tuck spot here and I got all kinds of fun stuff. Oh my gosh, there's so much fun stuff in this one. I can't even stand it. Look at the center. <gasps> I love this one. I love to distress. It's my favorite thing to do. I have videos on how to do this. And the key stamps are in my shop usually. I love it. So anyways, here's the page. I want to put it right here. You see what I mean if you put tags right here on this side? how the fuzz is gonna stick when I try to shut. So I wanna keep all the tabs out on this side, but you can, you know, open them up on this side, you know, whatever you wanna do. But I'm thinking of putting it right here and then I wanna glue it right in, but I think I'm gonna sew the ends of this first because I like the sewing, right? Yes, Naomi, we should swap. It's very nice to get mail with international gals. I love to do that. And I have, I save everything that you guys send me from international. I have every single, this part, oh my God, this is, I love to because I always keep all the, you know, stuff from it. This one's from Turkey. And I kept Sagitas in here from uh, Latvia and I got some, um, just everybody's mail I keep, you know. I have some from India and, you know, just I keep all this because here's from India because I like to cut these out and use them, you know. So, anyways, it's kind of fun. Yeah. Shut up, Linda. <laughs> I was just looking through those right now and I was like, oh, because I forget now. It's like... You're a different person. I don't remember the old one before you were even admin. I can't. I can't even remember now. It's so weird. Because I forget. Oh, that was the Linda. You know, I know so many people. It's like, oh. Sometimes I forget. And it's like, oh, that was Linda. This Linda. <laughs> I remember that, Linda. It's funny. You changed to a different person when you joined up on the... On the team. That's funny, I know, huh? All right. Okay, Naomi, just message me and we can figure it out. See what you need, too. All right, so that's good enough. You guys get it, right? I got to do this one, too. I could, I guess, but we did one. Could do one more. All right. I got this here. But I don't like this because they're not the same size. So this one's fatter than the other one. So I got to get one to match this one. It doesn't. They're off slightly and that's going to bug me. So so I'm just going to sew this and you guys don't want to watch that. So, But see, I like the tags out on the side better. See, look, the tabs. I like the way that looks. Anyway, so now what I do is I go fix, finish this up and then I post pictures in group because, you know, I'm going to put the tags and different stuff in here too, I guess. But, you know, I'm just making something to fit in here. You know, I just wanted to come and give you a little bit of inspiration and maybe get your junk mail out. You know. Okay. Hi, Kathy. Psh. We're already leaving. 
Unless you guys want me to hang out, but I was about ready to leave. Just because I figure, you know, I'm just going to sew this and make tags to fit in here. That's all I was going to do. Kitty says hang out. Kathy says hang out because I just got here. <laughs> oh, hi. No oh, boy. Now there's some trouble. <laughs> now there's some trouble. Look who's here. <laughs> well, I was going to end, but because these are fun. and But I need to sew right here and then just make little tags that are... Hi. Hi, Jude. Okay, so we're making these. And we're just taking two envelopes of the same same size envelopes. And you tuck your little things in. I'll just show these new guys really quick. Tuck these little things in. And then I like to keep my opening on this side. We are making junk mail, tuck spot, sterling spot. These. See? See? And then the tags pull out on the sides. See? Like this, this. See? That's what we're doing. So you just get your two envelopes and you just fold the tops. This one you gotta fold more because it's gonna stick underneath this one, see? And you want the patterns to show. So I'm just gonna put scraps on some of this. This one I was doing maps because I'm doing a mappy kind of one. So I'm gonna sew this then. And then um, then we'll make tags to go inside really quick. But I have to sew this because I just like the way it looks. Edge ain't finished to me if it's not sewn. Bug me. So my tag's gonna be a little bit smaller, but that's okay. Are you getting hungry, babe? Okay. What are you wanting? Do you want to just have spaghetti now, or do you want to have it later? Alright, I got two more. I'm sorry, but I'm still doing my video. I just was just asking you if you're hungry. Can't hear you with all this going on. Can't hear you with all this going on. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, now Happy Easter. I like this, the way this looks. Okay. Let's see if this is too small. It's probably too big, yep. But it might fit in this one. Yeah. And then this one's bigger yet. I want to see if any of my maps will fit in here. Map tags. Oh yeah, that one fits. They're skinny, but... These ones my mom made when she first started. Look, she ripped it and stuff. I just want to see if these fit in here. Because if they don't, then I'll have to make... Something. Oh, that's going to snag.
That fits. If I don't put a tab on it. And this one fits too, but it's kind of skinny. So I might put something else in there. And this one... put this one in here just little map tags sticking out Ooh, that's cute this one I think go right here what is sticking here what is sticking hmm I'm sticking right here in the middle, so I'm just trying to... Oh, it goes in, but it's kind of sticky. And then this one. I guess I could do it this way. Maybe this way. No, it went all the way through. What the heck? Well, I guess that's okay, too. I'll do it this way. And then... The last one. We'll try and put this in to see. There. And then their journaling spots are underneath. And then you can decorate this up if we want to. If we want. Try it and see. I probably just use little Tim Holtzy stuff, you know. See what we got here. And then mom made these little tiny ones that I like to use for tabs. They're kind of fun. Like this one needs a tab so I would just glue this on the end right here or I could even staple it in two that might be neat I like to use staples there we go we have a little tabby I think I want to staple it too. Hard boiled eggs. That's your Easter dinner? <laughs> I don't know what we're going to have. Didn't go all the way through, only one side, of course. Try it. Well, I made spaghetti. I made a pot of spaghetti and meatballs. I made meatballs and everything with lamb and lamb and um, you know sausage and beef I made meatballs oh that was my last one that's why so fried chicken sounds really good I haven't fried chicken in so long now I got a half of one in here And this is empty. Oy vey. Okay, so let's just skip that whole idea. Alright, so we'll put this back in here. And the glue's going to have to hold it, I guess. There, now we got a little tabby sticking out, see? Yummy. Oh, I like to make spaghetti sauce. Sean loves spaghetti, so it's like his deal. Spaghetti and lasagna, anything Italian he likes. So, I don't know. But, you know, after a couple days, it's 
better, but then after a couple days, you're sick of eating it too, so. Let's find some, oh, and then I got this. No, I kept these sides shut, okay. Now, I got little snippets. Thanks for shopping with me. I see you ordered. Somebody did. Thank you very much. Let's see. I just had the little snippets out, but shh, who knows where they are now. I thought maybe I had them right here, but my little snippets, but these are way bigger than snippets. Darn it. See what I can dig in. This is my Tim Holtz box. But the people, there is all the people, but the people are too big, so I just wanted a couple little little pieces, but these are all too big. Dang it. Well, my desk is a complete wreck right now, so. I have the snippets out, but, you know, to be able to find where they are right now, it's just, there's no way. So, oh, special delivery. See, that's what I need is all these because I'm doing, I'm doing, um, travel here. Yeah, airmail, look, luggage. Oh, yeah, that's just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. Ticket stubs. We could put people on. Little peoples. See what we can find here. We got some stamps. Put this all on here. Okay. My mom made this. I could glue it down, put it up for a little flippy. I'm doing random scraps, I am, but the problem is, is I have to stop because I have this travel journal I got to finish right now. So I have to throw in some travel stuff right now on a couple of these. So I had to dig out my travel stuff. And so... None of this was scraps except for the envelopes, and that wasn't even scrap. They were brand new, so. But I got my scrap pile here, and I'm going to make some more of these out of scraps because I got a lot of paper here, but I just had to stop for a second and do two. I need one for my travel. So we'll just put this little stuff on here. Put a couple little cutie little things on here. Maybe. Yeah, it'd be kind of fun. <laughs> there we go. My craft room's a wreck right now. God. I had that sale. So I went through everything in cleaning, you know, but then this right here, because I was making three journals at one time. <sighs> so now it's really a mess. And the scraps is just beyond. I have just, and Linda, if you're still here, I don't know if Linda's still here, but Linda's trying to get me to do boho and i tell you i have a box of just boho scraps it's crazy so i even have my scraps now in uh separate boxes it's like what the heck but there's nothing i can do about it but i am going through you should see all the scraps i made this last week i was shocked when i got done i had to post a picture of it I was like, wow, I've been working. I 
I think I made so much stuff because I was doing that sale for 10 days. I didn't have both of my sewing machines broke, remember? So I think I was just freaking because I hadn't been able to glue anything or sew anything for like, how many days was that sale? 10, 12 days or something like that. I was only doing it because I didn't have a sewing machine, nothing. You know? So that was kind of funny. Well, these people, I can only put them at the top because otherwise I can't flip open my deal. So, what are you guys talking about these rotten eggs? <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Let's see, where should I put these? I wanted to put them here. I guess I could, because when you open it up, it'd be okay to see them, but otherwise you just see feet. I think I'll do it right here. Yeah, I don't like that. Somebody did that before and sent you a whole bunch of glitter. Sent me a... Ooh, duck eggs are nice. Okay, airmail ticket. There we go. And then this one has a little thing of my... I don't know if I should put that on here or not. I don't think so. Some stamps. This is cute. Cute enough for me. There. Now I got little little map tags. This one always sticks though right there. It must be the inside of that envelope. I'm cutting the bottom off this then. Because I ain't trying to have that happen every time. I'll try it like this. And this one we glued the tab on for. Right here. That's neat. And this back one's got a big one. Right here. But this one. I've been putting birds on all my. All my map stuff. But this one. That one ain't bitten. You can get these birds in my shop if you need them. I think it's, I don't know, a couple bucks for my whole collection of bird die cuts I had. For fun. This is cute. I'm loving this journal. I'm almost done, but I wanted to make a few projects for it first, so I'll probably be doing the flip through here pretty soon. There, this is cute. There. There. Oh, yes, I like the birdie. Hmm. 
Okay. No, I don't have the butterflies up yet. I just have the birds and then I put, I got Easter stuff. Of course, well, that's over now, but. And then I put up, um, it's just all stuff from my collection. I have a few different scrapbooks that I just copy the pages from. And I've done a few pages myself. They're cute. I like them. And I did my jewelry collection that I had. And Okay. This is cute. And this one I want to say something on here. This one says, learning to fly. Yeah, I love the birds. I got quite a few. You get quite a few sh sheets. I can't remember exactly how many. How many, but they're pretty cool. I use them all the time. There's some more. You can print them out on cardstock or, you know, regular paper. And then I think it's fun, too, because I print them out on cardstock like this is. And then I put glossy accents over the top of them and just a little bit of glitter. And then I let them sit and dry all night. <gasps> they turn out really nice and shiny and glittery. Ooh, it's really pretty. So, anyway, I love the birdies. So, I'm going to put more birdies on. And then this one says, learning to fly. And I'm just keeping them kind of flat so there's not going to be any snags, you know. Putting them in. Yeah, they're real pretty. This one's real pretty. You'd be pretty in this one. And these ones are just paper. I'm not even doing cardstock with these. And then they're just regular. Like, I didn't do nothing to these either, so... But when you judge them up a little bit, they're real nice, too. And they need some judging. And then I also photocopied all my calling cards that I have. So there's calling cards in there, too. Beautiful ones. If you like that kind of stuff, which I do. And I can't wait to get back to, but I have so much paper to get, get through. I'm sorry I don't have the link up for you. I just didn't think I'd be selling anything, but I always forget that sometimes I always, I just should do it every time. I just don't. But it's a download, so you'll have it forever then too, you know. So. Put the little birdies on. She gave me a refund, and she told me I could keep the book, too. So, I did. <laughs> I love the birds. That's so pretty. I like it. And then this one's long and skinny. Oh, I already did that one. This one. We could just put this little fat guy on there. He's cute. A little fatty. <laughs> or we could have her flying. She's got a rose. That'd be pretty. Let's take her. Let's do her. this 
something like this. Oh, he's cute, except for... Okay, let's see. I was trying to find a good spot for it, and it just, I don't know, just should have had the other one, I guess, because it's kind of pink and kind of doing the same thing as the other one was. Let's see. Mm. How about this one? Says and let it fly away. So that's what we'll use for this one really quick. I still put glue on it because by the time I get done inking the thing. Okay. Got that. We'll put this in. There. Do we do this one? Yeah. Okay, we did all. We put birds on all of them. I didn't put a tab on that one, but... There. I didn't put any, like, fabrics or nothing on here, but I put all this stuff. Let's see. Here's my next book. And this is going right here. And I'm not leaving it in the back either because this is already fat enough, so it's going down. It's going down. Going down. And I got stuff on this side too. Yeah, this one I didn't mean for it to get so big, but oh well. This ain't even going in there. Look at this, ain't this cute? And I put little luggage tags in here. I'm just going through now, putting stuff in my pockets and such. Look at this one. I, it's the front of a book. And this I was just going to put maybe right here. I don't know. 
I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet on some of it. Look at that napkin. I love it. It's so pretty. I love this. Look at this little book. Isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen? Look at this little closure right here. How cute is this? Look at this. And then it opens up. Look, I put little tags in. And it's got a little pencil. Isn't this cute? And then the phone numbers and stuff. It's a little, a little oriental little book. Isn't this cute? I love it. So I'm going to put it in here. This is that bag I got from India when I ordered the sari. That's a piece of the bag. And it says trip rating on the bottom. And then my mom made this little thingy. So this is actually going to go in here if it'll hold it. I think it will. Here and here. And then this is something I got from India. And a swap. So we'll see. So that's why this is so huge. Because it's got that little booklet in there. So we'll just see what I end up doing here. This part's fun too. I've got little. And this part's fun too. I gotta finish it up though. I got lots I'm doing here still. So. Somebody sent this one. I know that's a big pull-out. Okay. And then I got Linda's pretty little charmies on here. See, Linda? Linda makes these, you guys. I know. Here's the front. First step in a journey, and the two girls are on the front. Looks like they're on the dock to me. Looks like they're going to go somewhere. So I put friends are connected heart to heart, distance and time, can't break them apart. And then there's a little map back there. A little note. That's my mom made this little thing. And that's like a metal piece. So it's kind of cute. I like this one. So I'm just doing a little bit of travel in it. And then the back's got bags. Stack of sacks. All right. So, yeah, it's going to be a big one, I guess. Didn't really mean for it to be this big, but oh well. Because it has the these in the front. Look. You know, my envelopes that I do in the front for storage. I still got to put this stuff down right here. Build this up. So, it's kind of fun. There's pockets right here and right here. Right here. And I put the ball jars in here. They're cute. And these are pockets. Bye. There. There we go. That's about it, girls. I'm going to use up some more of these. I had these in my shop, too. That I didn't use yet. So now I'm finally going to use them. Hey, thanks for stopping in, you guys. Hope you had a good Easter. I'll be back pretty quick here. I got a couple other things I want to make, so see y'all later. Bye.